Tiger Tiger Woods, y'all. What's up? Welcome to another, uh, I don't know what that's from. Uh, Chris Rock said it in a movie. Welcome to another Donkeys and Demos. Um, due to a lot of uh, dialogue and feedback from people on some of the CD forums that I hang out on, um, some folks have asked if I would kind of show how I use uh, MIDI drum beats, how I manipulate them, create them from scratch, what have you. And uh, so I thought, yeah, sure, I'd, I'd make a little, a little series doing this. Um, so this first video is just going to show how you go ahead and take um, a drum track out of a tab file that you'd find online. I usually go to gprotab.net, but I mean, Ultimate Guitar has them, all kinds of places have them. Um, and it's really easy and simple to extract a drum track from your uh, tab file into your DAW and then assign your drums to them. So that's what we're going to look at first. Uh, the next video we'll talk about humanizing them and making them sound a little less robotic and getting your velocity set up. And we'll do another one on creating beats from scratch and manipulating um, existing drum loop MIDI files. So for this verse, first video, it'll be pretty quick. Um, it's nothing groundbreaking, but some folks um, haven't done this before, so I thought I would show it. Um, so I go to gprotab.net, and this uh, Poison Heart song is a song from the Ramones. It's a great tune, and since I'm working on a rock uh, a, a you know classic rock slash um, lower to mid gain uh, demo of my Friedman Dirty Shirley. I thought this would be a cool track to uh, kind of mess with because I like doing covers. And uh, I know shame, shame, shame. Um, so anyway, I've already downloaded it. Um, I checked out both of these uh, uh, tabs, and I don't like the drums on this version two. They added some weird um, tambourines and an odd percussion that don't really fit the song, and I don't feel like. Uh, going through and cleaning that all up. So we're going to take this guy right here and open it up in Guitar Pro 6. And as you can see, there's all of these um, these um, tab uh, files you know, built in for guitars, for vocal melodies. Uh, got Marky's drums here. And that's really what we want. Um, I'll go ahead and you know, through the magic of of uh, the interwebs will act like that never existed. I'll go under file, export it out as a MIDI file. Now there are other um, Guitar Pro you have to pay for, um, but I think there's something called Tux Guitar that will open a lot of these MIDI files and it's free. Um, you can still export a MIDI, uh, a whole MIDI file out of that as well. Um, uh, to, to be warned, um, it will, all of, the, I don't know how to delete these things out of here and I don't really care to learn, but it will import all of these as separate tracks into your DAW as well, or at least a dozen logic. Um, so anyway, there's our MIDI file. We can get rid of you. And then I'm gonna go into my DAW, D-A-W, whatever you wanna call it of choice, and that is Logic Pro. Um, you go under File, you import that MIDI file. I was on your desktop. I insert the tempo just in case, um, and you can see Bam! There's all of your uh, all of your tracks that had a a tab associated with it in the uh, the guitar profile. So um, I'm going to get rid of all of these guys. I'm going to keep the bass track um, because I like to have that on hand when I am editing kind of the the feel of the drums when I get back into that manual uh, manipulation of the velocities and humanizing. And you can see um, this is the the challenge that you'll run into with all of your uh, MIDI files that you pull out of a tab is that the drums all come in at the same velocity. Um, it's not a big deal. Um, it just sounds more like a drum machine, more robotic. Um, there's no swing to it. They're all snapped to this grid, which keeps everything perfectly in time. Um, and for a song like this, and for, for most songs, you don't want everything to feel so metered because it just doesn't feel natural. And we're already trying to humanize an unnatural thing, which are these MIDI files. Anyway, uh, you can take a listen. So you can hear uh, Logic has assigned one of its kits to it, and their kits aren't that bad. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and bring it uh, up here on this track. I actually have Easy Drummer loaded, um, and this is the uh, modern basic kit. Um, that's fine, just so you guys can hear it. Uh, it just sounds better. Um, 
one thing I will also mention is a lot of times when I bring uh, MIDI files, existing MIDI files like this from a tab into uh, Logic to um, edit, a lot of the uh, uh, the drum mappings they vary from um, manufacturer to manufacturer. Tune tracks drum mappings usually line up pretty well. Uh, the slate ones usually work, are going to have to move some of the hits around. I'll show you that here. Um, so if I go to Steven Slates and I load up uh, I like the Rock Five kit. You'll hear that the, the kick drums probably are not um, going to play, and maybe some of the toms will be off. So yeah, there's no kick drums there. So what you would have to do is, I think, this is where they've got the kick assigned in tune track, or on the MIDI file, rather. With the slate, you just have to move them up one. Um, but for the purposes of this whole series I'll be using um, Easy Drummer. Anyway, we'll just go back to to this guy. So from here, this is where all the fun and the uh, the hard work starts. Um, Anyway, like I said, this was just a quick, uh, a quick uh, tutorial on how to go ahead and extract a drum track out of uh, a tab and load it up into your DAW. Uh, in the next video, we'll look at humanizing these, um, getting them so they're not so snapped to this grid. We'll do that on the bass track as well, and because uh, I don't know that I'm going to want to go back through and learn it and play it. Um, and then we will do, like I said, future video on um, creating your own beats. Uh, manipulating existing drum loops and uh, you can see you, there's really there's just so much you can do um, as you put more time and effort into learning how to use this piano roll and create your own beats or manipulate beats that um, you can get pretty adept at it and pretty quick I can knock out a song gosh maybe 30 minutes tops get a good structure down and uh, I feel like that's pretty quick but I mean some guys are probably even faster um, anyway thanks for checking it out and stay tuned for the uh, the next vid